Hello, I'm Pastor Tim Otto from Mount Olive Lutheran Church here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to our midweek devotion based on God's Word. May God bless us with His Word today. They say that one of the loudest areas in any hospital is the maternity ward. Oh, there's a few reasons for that. First of all, you have a lot of newborn crying babies. And also, it's a very loud area of any hospital because of the groans and shouts and sometimes even screams of the women who are giving birth. And I'm a man, I can say I've never experienced such pain and discomfort, but any um, woman out there who has given birth can, understands what I'm talking about. But here it is, those groans and sometimes even shouts and screams of a woman giving birth are, well, they're groans of hope because they're, they're groans of, of bringing, of the hope of bringing new life into the world and, and having that new life soon in their arms. The Bible in the book of Romans compares the groans of a woman in childbirth to the groans of the creation of this world, the, the difficulty, the suffering that even the creation of the world is going through. Uh, interesting, it makes that comparison. Now the, the creation did not always groan, it was created perfectly by God. But now it certainly groans and shouts out in pain in a way as we have forest fires and floods and tsunamis and earthquakes and tornadoes that do so much damage and we have animals that go extinct and we have animals that even act in unnatural ways that attack and, and do so much damage. We have sicknesses and, and disease and, as we know, viruses. And we ourselves groan and suffer and shout out in agony at times as we are part of this creation. We are the crown of the creation, God's creatures, and, and we also groan as we experience in this sinful world, we experience sadness and pain and sickness and eventually death. We groan under the weight of unemployment, unfair treatment, injustice in the world. We groan under the weight of physical pain and emotional damage and emotional pain that others cause us or that we ourselves deal with. We groan under the weight of dealing with temptation on a daily basis. We probably are groaning more than ever right now during this pandemic as we, as some of us have even lost loved ones or have had the sickness ourselves or just the confusion of it and the frustration with it. But it's something that's so important to remember as we suffer and groan and even shout out and as we experience, experience the difficulties in this difficult world. Um, we groan with hope, just like the woman who is groaning as she gives birth with the hope of having that new life in her arms. We groan and struggle and suffer in this world with the hope of new life, new life in heaven, a life that, well, there's no groaning there and there's no suffering or pain. Allow me to read a few words, beautiful words from, from the Word of God, uh, from the book of Romans chapter 8. It says, we know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly as we await eagerly for our adoption to sonship, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. Um, a lot of talk about groaning and shouting and suffering. And why so much groaning and difficulty and suffering in this world? Well, the answer is a one word answer it's sin. Even our own sin. The fact is, because of our sins, we deserve to groan in agony forever in hell. That's what the Bible clearly teaches in the same book of Romans and other places. The wages of sin is death. But God did not want that for human beings. Well, He loved us so much that He came up with a plan a plan to rescue and save us. And that plan was to send His Son here. And that Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, well, he groaned and shouted and screamed in agony more than anyone else has felt. The pain that he felt was greater than any human being could ever feel as he was 
well, driven through on a cross with nails as he was whipped and beaten up. Why did he suffer through that? Why did he have to groan and through so much pain while he was suffering the very hell that you and I deserve? And he paid for those sins and he paid that punishment we deserve. And the Lord gives us so many wonderful promises based on what Jesus did on the cross for us. And he groaned and suffered on that cross so that we never have to ever again. And the Bible says if we put our faith in Jesus as our Savior, eternal life is ours. It's not a wishful thinking kind of hope. It is the sure hope of forgiveness of sins. That is a reality of salvation and of eternal life that is ours in Jesus. There you think of the, of the mother as she in her arms has the newborn, uh, all the pain forgotten. Well, there will be in the arms of our Heavenly Father resting eternally. So, you know, you think about the, the newborn mother as she struggles, as she groans, as she even shouts and screams out in pain, but with the hope of having that new life in her arms. So as you go through the difficulties of this life, now certainly the Lord blesses us with good times too, doesn't he? And that those are good times with our family, joys. Uh, those are blessings from the Lord. But we know that in this world of sin, we also groan and we have struggles and we have crosses to bear. And as we, as we groan, as we struggle, um, remember, please remember, dear brother, sister in Christ, that we groan with hope. The hope that someday it will all end, all the bad stuff will end, and we'll be with Jesus in heaven forever. You see, because there, well, there in heaven there are shouts, but they're not shouts out of pain. They're shouts of pure joy and shouts of praise to the Lamb of God, our Savior. There we will be someday.